Well, that was pretty genius. I did all this edge testing on them, Rex 45. You can see some of the damage to the edge. Same stuff I normally do with the staple, prying the staple out, hammering off the wire, and I didn't record any of it. <laughs> oh, but it did good. Um, Rex 45, factory edge at that. Very, very minimal edge damage. Let's do one more of these back towards the back. This time I'm... I actually cut through the wire that time. It's pretty good. Yeah, look at that. That's like nothing. That was back towards this part of the edge. This is the previous one I did. Not on camera. But you just saw the one on camera. And it did. That's pretty dang good, man. Rex 45 is some tough stuff for sure. That is some good edge stability. That's very little edge damage, I bet. Now, the, the knife... It's kind of not the sharpest. That's why I, I do these tests after I lose a little sharpness because I'm going to have to sharpen it anyway. Let's see. I said it was kind of dull before anyway, but not dull. Yeah, let me try regular old paper that's catching but it's still slicing decently, look at that. Not bad at all. So this damage will be easily repaired, yeah. Not bad. This damage will be easily repaired. Um, in fact, I would say easier than the K390. The K390 sharpened out just fine, but this, especially on the factory edge, that Rex 45, I think it did better. I don't know. It's got very, 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 very small micro like chips. Right there, right there. Man, you can even see them on that side. Right there, right there. Right there. That's from cutting the wire. And then the staple, which you didn't see on camera, which you know. Oh, that's already done. I'm going <laughs> to, um, and then, yeah, I can feel them right there for sure. My fingernail really catches on that. Uh, not so much there, a little bit back there, but all that can easily be fixed. It's not going to strop out. So I'm sitting here with a strop for no reason. Cause you know, I doubt that anything that those kind of chips would strop out. You're going to have to sharpen them out. But, just curious. Yeah, they're pretty minor. That's pretty good stuff. That's factory edge, man. That's, that's done, I think, the best of any factory edge I've done. The 52100... <clears throat> I'm sorry. The 52100, it uh, performed really well, too. But it like had a little bit more rolling. This is mostly little. Yeah, let's see if you can look at straight down at the edge. And see a little deformation there on the apex. Um, and then it's hard to make out the tip. But honestly, not bad at all. This knife would still continue to cut um, materials like cardboard. And things without really any hang-ups I don't think yeah it would still cut through abrasive material except this needs, I think it needs to be sharpened too I'm gonna sharpen it before I do the edge retention test but it's still cutting through materials just fine um, 
and that's a factory edge. That's pretty good. I think I think that's the most impressive of the ones I've tested. Um, definitely did better than M4. I'd say it did better than K390's factory edge. K390's reprofiled edge did um, a lot better than the factory edge. And I reprofiled it anyway to sharpen it, you know, I sharpened it to do the cut test, but I'll do the same on this. I don't know if I'll do another edge retention or edge stability test because, you know, look, wow. So that's after just doing a little stropping and cutting through some of that cardboard. No, it's, it's just cutting just fine, so I go. Um, but it's still cutting in paper pretty decently, yeah. Even with that, those little nicks. So I would say that's pretty dang good edge stability. Rex 45, man. Sexy Rexy. Very, very minimal damage on the Rex 45. You can see there. This looks like a... It might be a roll, not a chip. I thought it was a chip. It's a chip. It's a very small chip right there, too. Yeah, that's... That's pretty dang impressive, man. Let's see if we can get a shot on this side on ice. It's working out good. I mean, you can barely tell... Right there, maybe a little bit. Pretty good stuff. I'm impressed. That's a factory edge, guys, on Rex 45. I think it's done the best of the tool stills so far that I've tested. Interesting. Very, very minimal damage on the Rex 45. You can see there. This looks like a... It might be a roll on a chip. I thought it was a chip. It's a chip. It's a very small chip right there, too. Yeah, that's... That's pretty dang impressive, man. See if we can get a shelf on this side on ice. It's working out good. I mean, you can barely tell right there, maybe a little bit. Pretty good stuff. I'm impressed. That's a factory edge.